I'm gonna go to cut to the chase, go ahead and like and subscribe because you came to the right place. It's Neon Apex and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. Uh, last episode of Monster Sanctuary, we followed a bird into the Forgotten World. And I noticed that up here there was another path. So, oh gosh, there's no music up here though. It's kind of spooky. But I noticed that this was another um path on the map thing and I wanted to come up here and get this stuff because I didn't know what I was missing out on and I guess that's it yep that's the only thing over here all right so I guess the next thing we're going to do is go back to a forgotten world and I'll update you guys on whatever is uh <laughs> whatever I did all right guys so we're back with I think what um they were calling the bard these celestial feathers we found have an aura to them it's strikingly familiar to that of the being in ice maybe we can use those to free the being in ice yeah uh-huh yeah uh-huh it's me in the bar riding in my car going very far going very bored you have come for me after all those years i always knew you to be the most noble of my companions now report to me what has happened how long have i been in this accursed block of ice almost three thousand years and they have all abandoned their duties it's worse than i thought excuse me I believe we deserve some thanks as well. Lion, is that really you? You are less powerful than you used to be. Smaller too. As I understand it, you lost the majority of your powers when you created the Monster Sanctuary, together with the other so-called special familiars. A momentous sacrifice. I hope that it was worth it. Do you mean to say that you knew me before the creation of the sanctuary? We were brothers in arms for many years, back when you were still known as the Celestial Lion. Before we continue, I will have to test your mettle. I need to make sure that you will be able to uh, have the, the, the capable ally here in, in coming battle. <laughs> I challenge you and your companions to a fight, Lion. A keeper duel it is, then. Oh, I, I didn't know it was just popping off like this, but uh, I changed out the team. <laughs> I, I, I I wanted to use all new uh, monsters, so I changed out the team. So if it's not as good as it could, but if my team is not as good, then that's why. Uh, let's see. Most of his monsters are weak to grass, so I feel like we're going to go with mostly grass monsters. Yes, sir. He's buffing on the first man, too. Oh, my. My word. My word. Probably should have went for healing right there, but I will be all right. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Like, oh, he's doing death and robot. Oh, gracious. Oh, wait, Burrow does so much, though. So is Big Man Surge. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Life channel. Uh, let's see. This, this hit? No, it doesn't hit everything. Which one of you guys has the most? Yeah, you, you got to get out of here. And now we go for this. Yes, sir. Look at all the damage. <laughs> all right. Cool, 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 cool. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, the tar blob, man. You know. You know. Uh, do I go Bitman Surge again or, or Burrow? Which one hits more times in a row? Burrow does. I should just move for Bitman Surge to hit them all. Oh, 
Oh wait, I forgot. Power block has that too. Right away, let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I still got it with the with the team making. I think I still got it. I'm not the best. That is a fact. <laughs> Most definitely a fact. I'm not the best. But this team is doing okay. So I got at least a little bit of knowledge when it comes to team building, I guess. The bird is weak to water. Is it water? I'm talking about the, the dodo bird. Are you weak to water? I don't remember. Yeah, water. Um, hmm. Right now that other bird is weak to fire. And I don't have anything in this fire right now. I guess this is fine. We'll go for full defense. Yes. Um, yeah. When you. Oh, never mind. You already had the maximum things. <laughs> it's gonna take me some getting used to the. To the, to the, to the that's me. <laughs> it's gonna take me some getting used to, uh, to this team, but, uh, I think for what it is, it's not bad right now. I want to go full defense again to see if I can get some more buffs going, but it doesn't look like there's anybody that I can't buff. They're weak to fire. Need to get some debuffs going. Yes, sir. Now we're seeing a little bit of damage. Okay, that's fine. We are literally stuck in a stalemate right now. <laughs> I don't want to switch out. Oh my gosh, you know what? No. I I'm not going to switch out, bro. If I have to, I'll just sit here the entire time. Doing the same thing over and over again until you get all of the debuffs and then just die. Yep. There you go. I might switch back to my other outfit because I don't know. The Mohawk is just like kind of a little more drippier to me. You guys take a lot of damage from Shred. How did I not realize that before? Probably because I, I didn't hover over it. Plus, this fight's over. What? what? Do you have revive? I wasn't looking. I looked away. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Ooh, boy. Not bad. That human attendant of yours is quite talented. Thank you. Let me proceed then. I was about to tell you more about the Celestials of old. I myself was a loyal attendant of the Celestial Raven. You may call me Wanderer. You might have come across the World Tree. A gigantic tree unlike any other on this world not far from here that tree was planted on this world millions of years ago at this point in time the only living beings here were the celestials you were there as well as the celestial raven and many others most of which have been forgotten by history long ago one day the celestial raven looked to other worlds, it saw a variety of life that was completely unlike the Celestials of our world. So the Celestial Raven traveled to one of those worlds and used its beak to steal away a single seed. It brought the seed back and planted it in our world. The Celestials nurtured the seed until it grew into a majestic tree. It became the World Tree. The World Tree had a miraculous effect on our world. All of life as we know it evolved thanks to this world tree. 
Not only did it lead to the creation of simple organisms and animals, but it also led to the evolution of humans and monsters. All of the magic used by monsters and spell-wielding humans also springs forth from the world tree, although there might be very few humans left who know how about how to tap into its ancient magic. The tree of evolution was grown from one of the world tree seeds, as I understand it. Its magic was used during the creation of the sanctuary. The sanctuary was created around the tree of evolution, which happened to be above the world tree itself. The earth shifted during the sanctuary's creation, so opening a passage to this area, which has been sealed by one of the world tree tenders. She believed that she could protect the world tree from the outside influences by sealing the area away that was around 2,000 years ago. The world tree tenders were a group of humans who tended to the world tree. I was somewhat of a leader to them. After I sealed away, <laughs> after I was sealed away in this ice, they abandoned their duties. Many, over many generations, all of the knowledge of the world tree seems to have vanished from this world, forgotten by man and humankind. The world tree was still <laughs> central to our world. However, if the world tree ceased to be, all of life would wilt in it. Bard, my loyal companion, has scorned the world for centuries to find a way to under the curse of ice that has been befallen before me or something like that it has only been recently that the passage to this area that has opened and the monster century was created on top of it it is a way to arrival of someone who would aid it in undoing the cursed ice uh, that happened to be you and your human attendant you are the first outsiders to set foot here in the 2000 years we need to make haste the monsters mindless as they are most of them here have been gnawing at the world tree's bark and roots I will tend to his trunk if my magic hasn't left me yet. I should be able to heal it. I task you as well as your human attendant with the elimination of dangerous monsters that is presently gnawing at the world tree's roots. You can find the roots underneath the world tree itself, of course. Here, let me bestow a gift to you. A bard egg. A bard of your own, besides being a most steadfast companion, it will also help you gain access to the world tree's roots. Once you have dealt with the monster there, come back here to the world tree. I will answer all the remaining questions that you have about Celestial Stand. That would be very kind, yes. You have very you are very knowledgeable about the pendant <laughs> as of our world. I'm somewhat of a living foster after all. I wish you luck on your task. You are dealing with the monsters. A monster strength by the chunks of the world tree that it has been eating. Gosh. My word. I am a little bit like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so there's one other thing that I wanted to do, but before we do the, uh, the stuff with the bard. And that is try to evolve a monster. And we're going to use the Druid Soul. And we're going to evolve Shroom. Boom. I, I, I had like an idea that, um, that was kind of like inside my head that pretty much whatever monster i'm fighting and i get at the evolution item from it's more than likely that's going to be the item that um evolves that monster which makes sense i don't know like why i, I wouldn't like realize that before so is it done have you defeated the monster that's not get the world tree's roots no you should make haste then you can find the roots just below the area we're in right now the bar that was stowed to you can get you to the murky depths bard Let's call you Bard the Bird. You're one of the first monsters that I'm going to allow to keep its original name inside of the thing. Wait, is it? I, I'm not even sure. But let's see what their abilities are. Um, dissolves magical walls. And what does the, the shroom do? Ooh. Avoids monster encounters. Opens magical vines. Wow. Oh wait. Here's the here's one of the walls. Oh man, he doesn't do his song. Yeah, doom, doom, doom. 
just the other or that I know strawberries what's up here? oh I've been up here wait what how did I not go down here then was something blocking it I mean I don't see anything down here to oh that's tar um Where's the turtle? Oh yeah, yeah, he's in my party. There's a lot of tar. Warrior flask. Oh, a 10 attack. Oh yeah, I did um upgrade some items by the way. I um upgraded the mage flask. Quite a few items. I, I put some um, of the new items on the team that I have now, like the Mage Flask. Um, forgot what else was new. I think there's a hood I put on a monster as well, but I don't know if I uh, left it on or not because the thing with like making teams and stuff, like when it comes to anything. Uh, you you don't really know like how well the team is until you use them. So I, I test the team, and then I might switch out the teams, items, or whatever. But yeah, can I not use you here to fly up? How do, wait? How did I do the the tar thing before? You can't fly right at that. Let's just go back this way then. Chess, give me silver. Okay. Is there anything back here? No secrets. Oh, There's a lot of water back here. An orange. I knew for a fact there was a secret right there, but I thought I was gonna have to break it. I thought I was gonna have to break the wall. Chris Jericho type stuff. What's up this way? Ah, uh, secrets, secrets. You can't hide secrets from me, man. You can't hide secrets from me. So you probably can. Another chest. Four thousand GDs. He looks like a water dragon. Your champion? Dun, dun, dun. Dra it's the water one. He's weak to physical attacks. Okay. <laughs> Need something that hits more times back to back. Probably fiery stabs is the best. Yep. I could stack, but I'm not going to. Boss. I don't know what y'all. What the dog doing? <laughs> he spins in circles. Uh, barrier. Can you? You can stack barrier. Um. Yeah, I say we stack barrier. Some more glory going. Fiery stabs again. And you see how much is a crit? Looks like claws is still probably like the best move to use. Weakness. And 
now we can start doing some real damage with my snack and this. Now he's really taking damage. We need shield again. Which one of these actually hits more times than wrong? Uh, I don't think it really matters. That's just a lot of damage. And can Claws finish this? I didn't get to use Giga Drill to satisfy it. Claws. Denzo. Four stars. Okay. Not, not bad. Could be better though. That must have been the champion monster that the world, the, the Wanderer, told us about. The World Tree's roots should be safe for now. Let's go back up to the top of the world tree. The wanderer should already be waiting for us there. Um, hmm. Secrets could be waiting for us down here though. Oh, never mind. It just goes back around. What's up? Is it done? Have you defeated the monster that's gnawing at the world tree's roots? It is done. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> is there anything else we need to do for the world tree? Do not worry. I already took up the world tree's wounds from here it should be safe for the foreseeable future i will see about getting some of those monster keepers down here to tend to the world tree but that can still wait for the moment i should let you in on some other important events that you have likely forgotten about we would be very grateful for that my memories barely reach back a hundred years or so i understand that you've been preoccupied with the well-being of this monster century for at least 490 years, a noble undertaking to be sure, although I doubt that this is the best solution for the conflict between mankind, humankind, and monsters. Either way, there are matters beyond the sanctuary that will require your attention in the future. Let me tell you about the clash between the Celestial Raven and the Celestial Dragon. When the humankind... <laughs> Why is it so hard for me to say that? And the other mortal beings sprung forth from the world tree. Most of Celestials were in contact, were content to let them flourish and shape the worlds in their own ways. Others among the Celestials, however, felt that the natural order of things was for them to rule over the mortals. They were afraid that the world would succumb to chaos otherwise. Foremost among the group of Celestials was the Celestial Dragon, the most powerful of all the Celestials. They were opposed by the other Celestials, led by Celestial Raven, who felt responsible for the mortals that it helped create. You and the other so-called Spectral Familiars were among these noble Celestials as well, of course. This battle over the fate of our world has been raging among the Celestials for millions of years. The last time Celestials clashed was almost 3,000 years ago. This most recent clash resulted in catastrophe for both sides. The Celestial Raven was fatally injured and I was encased in that block of ice. Before the Celestial Raven died, however, the two of us managed to cast one final spell against the Celestial Dragon. A spell that sealed away the Celestial Dragon as well as the majority of their followers from time itself. This is why there has been no trace of the Celestial Dragon for almost 3,000 years. It was only meant to be a temporary solution, however the return of Celestial Dragon and their follow followers is inevitable. Whereas many of the Celestial Dragon, the Celestial Raven and <laughs> their cause has vanished it's, as it seems. That sounds quite dire. Is there anything we can do to aid you in this conflict? There's not much that we can do at the moment. I will try to make some pre 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 preparations, <laughs> but you do not don't concern yourself with it. <laughs> Guys, I'm dying. I would travel to the I would travel the monster sanctuary as well as what you call the old world. I have managed to harvest another seed from the world tree, but I am not sure yet what to do with it. In due time, a second tree of evolution could grow from it. 
I will decide what to do with this seed after my travels, however. I understand. We will be here taking care of the sanctuary in the meantime. Farewell. Who knows what might... Who, who, who knows we might cross paths again in the future. Here, take this as a reward for everything that's done for me in the world tree. Medallion. Kirka hit chance, healing stuff. Greetings. I am taking a moment here before I start for my travels. Would you like me to repeat what I told you last time? No. Please don't. Okay, I... That was, I think, pretty much most of the story now. Most of the story done. I know there's, like, some more, uh... Pathways and stuff we could probably check out, so... Let's go check them out. Uh, here... Switch to where's Shroom Man? Shroom Man? Boom. Tara, level 5. That's pretty good. Down this way. I haven't been down this way yet. Boom. Wait, what? This looks like a crack. Boom. Crimson Gem. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, was that the only thing that was down here? I guess so. How do I get that water thing that was, uh... Oh, wait, you know what? I might need that, the new champion monster that we ran into. Yeah, probably so. Hmm. Oh, I can get up here and get this chest now. Switch them. And there's another chest. That's the barge. Another shift stone, okay. Now, how do I check them out? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um we haven't been over there, so let's check over there. It's another bar thing. That. Let me in, let me in. Oh, uh. Why do I feel like I've been down here already? I think I have. I have been down here before. How do I get in there where the mushrooms are? I break this wall? No. Hmm. Do I have to go all the way? Do I have to loop around? Maybe I have to loop around. Oh wait, or maybe I can break. Wait, switch to the turtle guy. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's in my party. Keep forgetting. Can I break this? I can. Told you, man. Can't hide secrets from me. The heck? Who are you? Greetings, Keeper Dragoon. This whole area is unbelievable, an unbelievable find, isn't it? The Wanderer has conveyed to us the importance of the World Tree, of course. We will make sure the sense of the World Tree is another part of the world, just pushed aside by humankind, just like monsters. I'm not sure what the Wanderer is planning with that seed of the World Tree, though. Does he really intend to grow another tree of evolution? What would that accomplish? The wonder is a peculiar follow for sure. A oh, wheel is here. Hey, Apex, you have made a truly remarkable discovery. The entire ecosystem that was preserved in the time of thousands of years, so many monster species that were thought to be extinct. I have learned a lot from the wonder as well. As I understand it, spell that the celestial the even used to class the, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep a dragoon and their followers was sent forward in time. This eventually removed them from their world, and that means the return is inevitable. I don't, we don't know when it happened in another lifetime. We don't know when it happened in another lifetime. We got more passageways like this. 
make your way through. And then, oh, which one of you does the, okay, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. Mm, I shift some. That's pretty good. But I feel like that is going to do it for, I think, the entire story of Monster Century so far. Unless they add more stuff, which they could. I, I, like, I don't know how long ago uh, this uh, DLC was like planned or like inside the making because I, I didn't do any research like on the game. I, at least not too much. And um, I think most of what I learned like came like as I played the game. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, or I guess whenever I uh, play again. And I might, I might do the. Uh, you know what, yeah, I'll probably do the, um, champions thing again, so, go and fight all of the, like, um, the history guys or whatever, history, what a, a historians, <laughs> the guys inside the magma chamber, like, little thing or whatever, I don't know if there's, like, another reward for it or whatever, but, uh, We'll give it a try, and we'll uh, see what we can do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.